What's up guys, Aaron here, VFX Bro, and welcome to this training on the TED animation. Now you can use these techniques for more than just animating teddy bears. I've used them in several videos in the past, and I'm looking forward to seeing the way that you guys use them on your own projects and incorporate them into new and fresh ideas. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start off by showing you how we animate the body of TED. And there's several different techniques. I'm gonna start off with one of the more basic techniques. And this was actually one of the first vines that really took off for my Vine channel. And for those of you who don't know what Vine is, Vine is an app that allows you to make six second videos. And I was able to use these techniques to make different short little TED videos that quickly grew the Vine channel to over 100,000 subscribers in just over a month. And so some powerful stuff here that you can use along with storytelling and a little bit of creativity to make some interesting videos. So let's go ahead and start off here. I have this plate of Ted just jumping up and down on the bed and I was using string to manipulate Ted. I had two strings attached to his arms and then one attached to his head so that we have a separate movement with the arms and the body. So I'm gonna just grab this plate of him jumping and drag it into a new plate. And this is a very simple shot. All I need to do really is add a mask around Ted. So I'm going to hit the G button here and then just draw a nice mask around Ted's body. Just like that. And then now I'm going to add another mask that I'm going to use to add for the top of Ted. Just like that. And now I'm going to remove both of these masks. And now I'm going to animate this top mask. So it's gonna start off down here. Okay, and we're only gonna worry about doing this first part of the shot here. And when he starts off, we're going to take this keyframe. We're gonna to go to the highest position that he gets, which is right about there. And move that right there. And I'm gonna set a keyframe for this position. And then I'm going to copy this keyframe. And then every time he gets up that high, I'm going to copy it. So he jumps up that high again right there. And then just slightly adjust it. Jumps up right there. And we're going to slightly adjust that as well. Paste it in there. And then finally, this last point where we're going going to make it a little bit higher as well. And now we're gonna to go to the part where he's down below and take this mask and bring it down there and copy this keyframe and then go to every time that he's down low and paste it down there. And then for this last one, let's go ahead and just manually bring it up there. So now we have this mask that's following him. We're going to easy ease all of these so that so that the animation is accelerating and decelerating along with the movement of the hand. And it's a little bit off still, we can see, but not a huge deal. When it gets up here, we're just going to make minor adjustments so that we're seeing his hand the whole time. That's pretty good there. Okay, now we can select both of these layers and choose to add them. I didn't get the best backplate for this take, although I should have, but I didn't. And so we're gonna show you how we can kind of hack around this a little bit. We're going to go time, enable time remapping, and simply hit alt, loop, out. And we're writing an expression right now. I have training on expressions if you wanna know more about what we're doing here. But all you need to know for now is that we're going to make an expression that allows us to replay this background shot over and over again. And so that works pretty well there. We can see we've got some issues up here with this frame. And over, okay, So that works pretty well there. Now we want to feather this in here so that the shot matches. So I'm going to just add a feather in to both of these masks. I'm going to make the bottom one a little bit larger. 
And there we have Ted jumping into the scene and it looks great. Because we're using Vine, we didn't have to worry about this area of the scene right here. All we have to do is select both layers and then we're going to make it 1080 by 1080 because Vine is just a square. And so we have the square here and now we can move that over. And now it looks like Ted's just bouncing there by himself. And so that's how we quickly and easily animate Ted using After Effects.